So I'm going to be expanding about your discussion on HDL and how it independently benefits an individual aside from other um, positive risk factors and things, which is why if it's greater than or above 60, it is counted or you would subtract one risk factor. So I'm going to use this Harvard Health um, Medical School article, which is HDL cholesterol, how much is enough? And it essentially discusses when does HDL, at what level does it stop being beneficial? And that would be, um, they found that anything above 90 really had no benefits. So between 60 to 90 should be an individual's um, kind of aim. And it also found that just improving um, HDL alone is not enough. You would want to improve or like decrease your HDL, which is done with, H I mean, decrease your LDL, which is done with HDL and your triglycerides. So all three need to be within a certain ratio in order for HDL to be um, as potent as it should be. So yeah.